mentioned research a minute ago. Can you speak to any current research projects underway to help farmers now or, or will help them in the future? So I can talk about one that's kind of near and dear to my heart, um, having been involved with it. Um, we went ahead and we got together academic experts, industry experts, and farmers and, and asked them, what do we need to consider when we're talking about feed additives? So to go back, a lot of talk about feed additives in order to reduce enteric methane. Is there something that we're able to actually add to that cow's ration to ensure that she might be burping up a little bit less methane and, and minimizing those emissions? And there's a lot to consider there, um, especially not only is it safe for the animal or for the product and for humans, does it actually work? By how much does it work? Uh, how much would that cost, right, when we talk about return on investments? And so really, we went ahead and convened and engaged these experts and came up with an entire guidance document that has the criteria of what folks should think about. And from that, we were actually able to develop a tool. It's, it's on our website. Um, anybody can use it. Um, and that tool really helps everyone in the dairy value chain, whether you are a producer who wants to make sure that if you're looking at products to, to understand really what that's about, or maybe if you are a retailer and need to understand what you might want to ask your suppliers to use, you can go through and make sure that, you know, maybe these need to check the boxes. It's a decision support tool. Um, and that's really what we're about. We want to make a tool that supports the decisions. We're not going to tell a farmer what to do. That's your farm. You get to decide. But hopefully with this tool, right from these experts and keeping that in mind, they can go ahead and look at this and put it into practice when more of these products come on the market. What, um, so I've heard about one of the projects is around the Green Cattle Initiative. Can you tell me more about this? So the Greener Cattle Initiative um, is really a, a giant partnership. It's a global partnership, um, really came into being through DMI and our partners at the Foundation for Food and Ag Research, which is really the foundation of, of the USDA. Um, their acronym is FAR for people who maybe have heard FAR before and not know their, their whole name. And what happened is we realized that there was a lot of ask for understanding more about enteric methane emissions from cattle, but there's not a lot of funding out there for researchers. There's very small amount. Yeah. So we thought, hmm, could we get some people who would be interested in this space to get together, put up some of their money and go ahead and essentially create um, kind of a, a award structure where we can give out that funding to researchers to do the needed work. So we actually were pretty successful in doing that. Our, our kind of base um, contribution that we made on DMI side, um, we went ahead and got together with nine other partners. And originally, we were going to give out close to $5 million for researchers to look at things like feed additive supplements or to understand the rumen microbiome better? Could we do something related to, you know, selective breeding, just natural genetics and things like that? And we actually are almost going to double that amount. Um, and so that, that funding really multiplied out. And our other partners who joined are all across the globe. So we're talking about um, Genus, LLC. We're talking about JBS, Nestle, Alonco, ADM, the Council for Dairy Cattle Breeding, the National DHIA, um, and then the New Zealand Agriculture Greenhouse Gas Research Center, in addition to FAR. So all these folks thought that this is vital. And these we had over 100 and uh, I think over 110 letters of intent from researchers across the globe. And we had to whittle that down and we're hopefully making announcements soon. But the whole idea is that we were able to go ahead, get all of these interested parties together, we are able to provide significant sources of funding to do research that is actually going to have tangible outcomes for farmers. So we're pretty excited about that. 